Alright, what's up everybody? Brian with you from the Game Camera. We're doing our AI only championship series. We are in the reverse knockout rounds down to the final 10. Did someone lose already? I don't remember. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, no one's dead yet. Feeling much better today. Oh my gosh. Like, I actually got to like sleep in today. It's like, oh my gosh, man. I feel so much better. A little tired still because this was a crazy week for me, but... At least, at least now we can finally get back to normal, and as far as I know, I have literally nothing going on for a while, so that's good, that's good, that's good. Um, the place where I normally work, they literally have, like, no events coming for, like, rest of the month at least, so. I should be pretty okay just being, like, chilling for now, so that's good, that's always good. Um. Yeah, I mean, making money is nice, but, you know, I also love doing YouTube, and, like, the thing is, given a preference, I would rather, like, work one day a week for, you know, uh, versus, like, do what I did over the course of, like, four weeks versus, like, doing, like, four straight days, or it turned into, like, what, five or six straight days, but anyways, you kind of get the point here. So, what's going on here? We are trying to get down to, uh, trying to eliminate two civs. Right now, it's Philip and Hojo. Hammurabi's not too far behind, or too far ahead, rather, and then Gandhi and Teddy are both kind of in the danger zone as well no one's flipping though although teddy is losing baltimore but if boston flips he won't be losing baltimore anymore i i highly doubt that will be an issue and the thing is oh no now it's actually at full loyalty i was gonna say it's a very 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 uh unlikely flip so yeah he's pretty okay here spain's looking fine despite having some really bad times uh this is like probably the biggest unfortunate though yeah because like teddy had like a really good thing going down here and now he's just kind of like cut out and can't really do much about it Eleanor has pulled herself back from the brink remember she was like pretty much at the bottom there for the longest time and yeah she's looking pretty good uh Heravaya is gonna flip so yeah okay great job there uh and yeah Japan's is basically kind of screwed at this point he is building the Petra um all right well that's not gonna be a good Petra <laughs> well you know, apparently Japan deserves to lose then. If we're going to continue on with this, if you build a, ped, a bad Petra, you deserve to lose. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Uh, let's see what else is happening here. Russia seems to be pretty okay. We don't need to talk about Russia. We probably don't need to talk about Persia. I mean, I think he's going to be okay. He's, he's in not the greatest position. He's definitely started dropping a little bit, but yeah. Molly really, honestly, like, Molly and Japan are just, like, polar opposites. And you could argue Japan just didn't have as good of territory, but still, Japan should be more in Molly's camp. Like, maybe not quite as, like, large, maybe not quite as much population, you know, maybe not as many nice cities, but, like, definitely should be better than what's going on here right now. Where was his capital, by the way? Oh, Kyoto, right there. Yeah, I mean, Kyoto's in a really good spot here. Why is it only size 5? That river must have flooded many times. The volcano's three tiles away, so maybe it did blow it up maybe a time or two, but still, somehow this capital's only size 5 is kind of ridiculous. I suppose there's not that much food around here, but these are all floodplains. Like, he should be able to get more than enough food there to uh, basically survive. Ah, uh, interesting. So Babylon's losing... Okay, never mind. They, they, they put a governor there, and they're fine right now. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a sketchy time for basically everyone. When's the next era? It's going to be a little after 200. Okay, so normally we would be on the final era right now, and it would basically be between uh, Philip, Teddy, and Hammurabi, and Gandhi, uh, between who's going to get eliminated. Right now, Teddy's actually dropping, or basically everyone else is kind of gaining more points. I don't know which one's happening there. I'd have to say that Teddy's just not gaining points as quickly. He's losing Charleston again. I thought he had already lost this one time, and then he had just flipped it back. So what happened here? Why is Charleston... Oh, uh, you know, he definitely moved a governor out of there. Huh. Dude, if he loses Charleston, we might be looking at a dead dead. Oh, no. Not my red dead dead. No. Boston, when are you flipping nine turns? You got to flip before Charleston. Teddy, my bud. So, okay, here's the thing. Well, we see he has governor, so we, we know that he can't... Um. Uh, we, we know he can't take the Civic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Although he's not running with a single loyalty Civic. Oh, man. <sighs> How are we going to figure that out? We, we need to be able to figure out. I mean, obviously... Oh, man, dude. Like, I think dramatic ages would definitely be 10 to 10 if the AI know. Like, okay, if I'm actually playing the game, I don't mind the AI completely screwing it up. Especially when you're playing on deity, it's kind of like, okay, 
Yeah. But for the AI only series, man, I wish there was a way to program the AI. And there probably is. It's just like, are we ever going to be able to figure it out? Program the AI so that they don't like just absolutely screw themselves over constantly? No idea. Also, don't forget that Preslev had an emergency going, which apparently is not going to end up happening. I wonder if maybe the emergency ended now nah, because he would have gotten the loyalty boost on it. Yeah. Hmm. Not entirely sure then. So, does he have the extra loyalty on? No, he doesn't have the extra loyalty. So he needs garrison commander there. Dude, Teddy, oh man, I am so disappointed. Like, put a governor there. Why is it so hard for the AI to just like, whatever city's losing, like, whatever has the worst... I mean, I guess it's not straight that, because if a town's gonna flip no matter what, putting a governor there maybe is not as helpful. But like, I just, like, how, governor, 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 but you don't put one there? That's mind blowing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And unfortunately, Charleston is gonna keep Chicago from flipping. Boston needs to flip like right now. So what's Teddy's hope at this point? He needs to survive to the next era and get a golden age. Is that gonna happen? <sighs> Probably not. Did he get the Rough Riders this era? I know he just got them. I thought he got them last era. So despite getting the Rough Riders, he did not, uh, he wasn't able to uh, get a golden era. Nine turns left, Charleston's gonna flip in three. And he's still yet to put a governor there. Like, what are you doing, Ted? Like, seriously, what are you actually doing here? Like, you don't need ping in Washington. And I understand maybe the thought here, but, like, if it comes down to losing the city or getting the, the uh, boost from ping, there's no reason to have ping there. Absolutely no reason. He is going to finish the Great Zimbabwe, though, so that's some extra points. And keep in mind, we might still very much be in a situation where it's, like, just survive. Just survive. Now, Teddy losing Charleston's probably going to put him below Spain. I mean, definitely will put him below Spain, for sure. So, yeah, he's got he's got to get a golden era. But somehow I'm thinking that's going to be a little unlikely. So it, I think we're looking now at this point, uh, Japan and Red Dead Ted being eliminated. Which is really sad, because like those are two of my favorite sims. <laughs> like I remember, like I, I think I, well I critically underrated Japan there for the longest time. But they're just like one of the more, like out of what, because they're base. Yeah, they should be base game. They're probably one of the best base game sims besides like Russia. One of the most overpowered base game civs. One of the original base game civs that I think still holds up. Like, because a lot of the base game civs at this point are like, yeah, they could use a definite buff. I think Japan's great. And that's that's pretty surprising, all things considered. Yeah, New York's going now. Charleston's going. Really, it's going to come down to whether or not he is able to get a Dark Age. Or a Golden Age. Oh, no, Baltimore's going to flip first. Oof. He did grab Boston here, though. Uh, Russia did. Just a teeny bit too late, though. Just a teeny bit too late. Mm. Well, all right. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to come to the acceptance that Red Dead Ted is gonna be officially dead. Which is sad, because he's got, like, definitely the funnest name. And I can't be like, Teddy! What are you doing, Teddy? And the sad thing is he had the freaking vampires, too, man. And he was looking so good! Like, he was destroying! And then I, he just got, like, multiple Dark Ages back to back to back and just, like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 100% on him. The AI played it really well there for the longest time. He just wasn't able to get the Golden Arrows. And he didn't really get screwed by anyone else, either. I mean, these were all his cities that flipped. Uh, Maracaibo flipping. Well, no, because he was flipping that, and he actually had that at one point. You know what really killed him? Preslev. <laughs> Honestly, if Grand Columbia would not have conquered Preslev or would not have gotten a Dark Age, I don't know Charleston would have flipped. Because then, you know, that would be seven here. That wouldn't have been uh, uh, the Free City pressure. Huh. Interesting. Well, what could have been, I suppose. So rather interesting is that this town's up here not flipping. Yeah, I kind of feel like Russia would be able to flip you by now. Only negative 3.6. Hmm. Okay. No one's close to, like, winning anything, right? Uh, actually shooting off rockets already, dude. Simonis. Uh, he, mm, by 250? Nah. Nah. Nah, there's no way he's gonna be able to get that, but, uh, religion. Gandhi still just has the one. Philip just has one, and Peter just has one. Although, Peter's one is about to be zero. Well, zero other civs. You get what I'm saying. Okay, so, um, by the way, Teddy in second to last? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, and that's with just grabbing the new wonder. The funny thing is, man, with all the wonders here... Oh, dude, yeah, New York. 
but I think that was a Dark Age flip. Yeah, that was a Dark Age flip. So Spain, Russia, Teddy, Gandhi all got Dark Ages. Japan actually might be able to survive this. Russia now is under intense loyalty pressure. Oh, snap. I think Moscow actually flipped. Yeah, Moscow is the one that flipped. Um, all right. Yeah, Japan got a golden era. Um, all right. So Teddy's dead. Yeah, like, there's no way he survives. He's surrounded by free cities. Like, yeah, he, he's gone. Dude, Molly's now down here on these islands. The only re way Teddy survives at this point is to, like, maybe get a settler over there or something like that. Uh, Kaguna, Preslov, yeah, just making sure that these are all city-states. Uh, then, yeah, you're fine. You're not flipping anything there. Persia is now going to take Kaguna back. And then they'll probably also be able to grab Hararavia. Hariva? Whatever. And then, yeah, you're fine over here. And Sheffield's actually flipping over to you, so you're pretty good. Spain got a Dark Age 2, remember? Uh, that was Zargoza flipping. Yeah, that's the Spanish town, which is now flipping over to Grand Colombia. So Grand Colombia pulled it back here. Babylon, I think, is going to survive here. Bangalore was uh, Gandhi, but Gandhi got a Dark Age. Is Gandhi looking at potentially losing anything? No, nah, he should be okay. So yeah, it looks like Babylon's going to survive. I think right now it's between Russia and Japan. It really is going to come down to whether or not Russia can hold on to some cities here. Losing Moscow could not have been good for their score, though. Actually, where'd they go? Because they were in first place. They're still in second. And St. Petersburg's way up there. And Kazan's 15, and you got 19, 12. I don't know. You might have enough uh, 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 size here just to counteract any of these free cities flipping. But, all right. This is going to be interesting. This should be interesting. So, I think at this point, then, it's definitely going to be down to Japan versus Russia. Spain is still not doing great score-wise. But... Well, Teddy's gone. Spain should be able to stay ahead of Japan. Yeah, Spain should be able to stay ahead of Japan because he's not losing anything. Dude, look at all the cultists. So great. So useful, man. Look at all the cultists. <laughs> I should literally not play with secret societies just because I'm sure all these cultists probably eventually lag the game down. Um, I think Russia is going to be able to stay in front of Spain as well. So I think it's going to be Teddy in Japan. I, I, I don't really see that uh, flipping right now. I suppose... Eh, I mean, this is 19 right here. And then Moscow's right there. The you know, smallest, whatever, might actually end up flipping. If this one flips, that's when things are going to become very interesting. Because number one, there's quite a few wonders here. Uh, there's one. Okay, there's one wonder here. Still. It's a huge city with a lot of districts. And I mean, that's a lot of freaking loyalty pressure to put over here. So, I think it's got to be between Spain and Japan still. Or sorry, uh, uh, Russia and Japan. I think Spain should be okay. I just, I, I don't see there being any way in which Spain falls behind Japan at this point. And if once all of these flip, if some less, some, whatever, Sully doesn't flip then Russia should be fine. And Russia should still be able to stay ahead of... Now, see, there you go. Although, wait a second. You just moved... Why did you just move your governor out of that city? And you didn't even put her... On, you put, why, why would you put her up there? Okay. So, are you kidding me? Is Japan going to actually survive this? <laughs> oh, man. Like, literally, possibly the worst play ever by Japan. And somehow he's going to survive. Mm. Now, is Russia getting killed because of Teddy? Eh, not exactly. I mean, honestly, I think it has more to do with his bad play. Mm-hmm. I, I really kind of feel like he probably should have been able to keep up. Also, how the hell does Russia get a Dark Age? Like, seriously. Are there no great people left to, like, grab? Like, how? <laughs> Come on, you're Russia, man. That's a little weird. Also, considering how many freaking wonders he has, I... I, I yeah, I, I'm a little confused at how. I guess maybe his empire was too big. Yeah, maybe that was the problem. He just built too large of an empire. Mm, I was gonna say, maybe he could go settle somewhere else, but actually that doesn't help, because Japan's not gonna lose the rest of his towns. Um, will there be another era? Mmm... Yeah, but it'll be very brief. And the thing is, like, what would Russia lose? Sendai? Maybe Nagoya? Either way. 
I, 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 he, he, he'll be fine. He'll have uh, more cities than just one, so. Uh, Panama Canal actually done. Interesting. Uh, and, you know, sure. I mean, I guess it's worth it. Sure. How good is the rocket shooting? Mmm. Mmm. You're not shooting off any new rockets. I can't imagine the tech tree is very friendly. Yeah, he's only at, I mean, he's 400. It's above 300, so that's good, but, you know, you'd prefer to see him about 500 if he's going to win anytime soon. Yeah, there's the Mars colony. Did we see the moon? He might have already shut off the moon to be straight up honest. Uh, no, it doesn't actually look like it. Yeah, so he's not found the moon landing yet. I kind of, you know what would be interesting is if, like, the, the, the winning objectives were varied. Because, like, you know, maybe, maybe you figure victory isn't necessarily going to the moon. I don't know. I feel like there's other things you could do here. Hercules is here trying to save the day for Russia. Not gonna really help, though, unless you put a governor there. I mean, if he goes and grabs Yaroslav, but Yaroslav will just flip again. And really, Moscow is the bigger issue right now. So, there is only 34 turns left. So how much can Russia hold on then? Is going to be the question here. Keep in mind, he's got stupid empire size. Dude, are we literally going to lose Red Dead Ted in Russia? <laughs> like, two of the more favorite civs in the game. Also, can we talk about Russia yet again potentially not winning a uh, AI-only series? Like, what? Kind of like, I feel really bad for them. I really do. They deserve to win by this point. So with both Red Dead Ted and Russia out, who would be the who would be the favorite at that point, dude? Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting because you still have Philip and Molly left in the game, and Persia. Gandhi. I mean, as an ex winner, you gotta kind of. And I mean, with the 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 just the the size of his cities, I mean, you kind of maybe gotta lean towards Gandhi. But I actually, I, I would not be surprised if Simone or Eleanor pulled it out. I, I don't think Japan is built as well as the other civs. Like, Gandhi and Eleanor, I think, are both built for dramatic ages. Simone kind of has that aggression that Teddy has, you know, and he tends to be pretty good. I mean, I guess you still have Babylon in the game as well. Although Babylon's had a couple disappointing games. I don't know. I don't know. Because right now, like, going into this round right here, I would have said Ted and uh, Russia were the two. For sure. That I would have been looking at to win. With probably then, yeah, like, Gandhi and, uh, 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 oh, yeah, he's not up there. Um, Babylon. That's kind of secondary. So, let me find my documents here real quick. And we're going to go to reverse KO. And sorry, Red Dead Ted. Oh, man. Dude, that means we lost three Teds in the last, like, two rounds. That's so disappointing. <laughs> uh, come on. Whoopsie. I saved, I saved here. I hit control S here. Not, you know, on my dock. But, yeah, we're good. All right. So, you're still holding on to it. Only two more turns. The game has slowed down so much. Like, look at how much slower it's gotten as soon as we got to turn 200. Like, yeah, this is getting ridiculously slow right now. And the thing is, this isn't one of these games where it's like, well, let's just, you know, um, like, we're going to have to sit here for all 250 turns. Oh, dude, that tornado. It didn't kill any population, but man, that, yeah, that could have been really catastrophic. If it would have hit Vatican City, oof. So, where, why is she, what, I, uh, how do you, what, you have more than two governors, surely, at this point, right? You have three governors, because they're using a money elsewhere. Ah. Once again, I understand what they're doing, but, like, you should not be using a money elsewhere right now. There's absolutely no reason. All right, so now the tornado came and blew you up, which is, yeah, going to immediately flip you. All right, well, have fun there. Vatican City's now flipping in 12. You're flipping in 4. Kazan now is flipping in 19, and that's with a governor there. Once Vatican flips, OMG. I, ugh. So Peter's still in third place. <laughs> he, he just needs to hold on. Oh, the clock is ticking down to zero. Oh, my gosh. Oh, if we're doing football analogy or hey, soccer analogy, it's like 
Soccer analogy would probably be a little bit better. It's like we're in the 90th plus minute right now, and you know, your team is up by a goal, and literally the other team is just throwing everything they got at it. And it's just like, just hold. Hold the line. That, that's literally what's happening right now. Well, figuratively what's happening right now. Not literally, because we're not playing soccer. But hey, shut up. So, kind of intrigued by the barbarian frigates there. Interesting. Not really that many barbarians around left. Mm-mm. Yeah, they've been mostly cleared. I don't know we had too many problems with barbarians in this game, right? I'm trying to remember. I think Eleanor lost the city to barbarians, or she had some issues with barbarians at one point. I think I remember. I think Japan had some early struggles with barbarians as well, but honestly... This is one of the more unusual ones, because recently I feel like we've seen a lot to mid, uh, mid, maybe even late game barbarian issues, so. Dude, I would love to see him go in the Bermuda Triangle. You think they get the buff from it? I mean, I would, maybe, actually? Can they get buffs? That's actually a good question. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea whether nothing get buffs. Also, is he moving, or is he just, like, chilling? It looks like he's just chilling right now. Huh, weird. Needs to be a hurricane spawn out here over the Bermuda Triangle. I feel like we're not seeing that many hurricanes. Yeah. Like recently, like I don't really remember seeing too many hurricanes all that much. Uh, Vatican's full loyalty. Okay. Okay. But Kazan's five turns. Well, there's no way Vatican holds then. Yeah, it's only at plus two. Uh, Volgada. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, never mind. Yeah, and then you're at negative 12, so seven turns. 23 turns left. I mean, is St. Petersburg enough? <laughs> How many points is St. Petersburg with? I mean, this is the big deal. Like, can he hold on to St. Petersburg to the end of the game? That really is probably going to be what's going to decide the game. Also, what are we talking about next era? 16 turns. Yeah, there'll be a brief one. And I mean, here's the thing. Russia will probably get a Dark Age there. So if he has two cities left, he'll lose one of the two. Mm. Mm. Kazan actually has multiple wonders, it looks like. Because this is, uh, not St. Petersburg, but that one's Kazan. Yeah, he has two wonders here. So that's 30 points plus then another 15 for the population. It's plus one for the population, or is it two from the population? Either way, like, this is going to be a pretty nasty. And then keep in mind all the tiles, too. And the districts, man. Yeah, he has three districts, four districts here, too. Oi, oi. Ironically, yeah, you want to see that. <laughs> yeah, uh, anything that lowers the population, like Hurricane, come hit the free cities, please. Slow it down. Um, Got to give credit here, though, to Grand Columbia, because they were not in a good spot there for the longest time, and somehow they managed to hold it. So, yeah. I, and I, see, I think India. This is two games in a row. India has been in absolute crap position and somehow managed to survive. Spain has done, has looked really, really good, too, as well, thus far. So this is putting us down to eight, which means, yeah, we need one more round to get down to the final six. There was some talk about doing final eight for a finals, but nah, I think we'll do the final six. Also, some people mentioned about, hey, you should do a mirror map. So in case you're wondering that, the mirror map doesn't work with uh, the AI only because it tries putting the player... Uh, the spectator in one of the uh, uh, spots so it doesn't actually work right I could go in and build my own map but I don't know I know initially I was having issues getting people to spawn correctly um, so yeah I don't know there might be a way to finagle that but I just a don't think I have the time or desire to do that so we'll probably just end up doing shuffle maps again and by shuffle we'll probably shuffle the different kind of maps what did we do on this one I gotta remember should we do Pangea next? Yeah, I mean, probably, right? Yeah, I think we did Shuffle Fractal, right? And then this would be Pangea next, I think. That's because I'm not flipped yet, because this is going so slow. Oh my gosh. Yet another reason why we do 200 turn <laughs> knockout rounds. Uh, everything becomes so obvious here. Well, and I'm, I'm not like making fun of you guys like pointing like this is why I do it No, it's actually like reminding me. Oh, yeah now I remember why I do 200 turns because <laughs> it's just like okay Okay, the game becomes infinitely less fun the longer it takes to load turns. So yay Still hoping to get my new computer hopefully sometime this year now. I'm really intrigued if I go absolute baller here with processor and video card, is it going to speed this up much more? I don't know. Like, the RAM, I have 32 gigs of RAM. It's It doesn't use 30. Actually, this is a good point. 
Hold up. I'm gonna pull Task Manager. What is it using right now? Uh, so right now, Sid Myers is using 37% of my CPU. It's only using a little under 5 gigs of RAM. So definitely don't need 32 gigs to run this. <laughs> power usage, very high. Also, power usage is very high in OBS. Interesting. What's OBS using? 12% of my CPU. And 1 gig of RAM. Huh. Uh, where's the GPU? This is GPU engine. I thought there was a way to actually see how much of the GPU is being used by it. Mm-hmm. Performance? Ah, there we go. Now it just tells me my GPU usage. Which right now we're only using 20% of my GPU. That doesn't seem right. CPU is at 72% up and down. Memory's at 38%. GPU is at 25%. So that's what's weird to me. If we're only using like a percentage of my GPU and CPU, why is the game not run faster? Does that just mean it's not optimized? That would be my assumption, right? Then the game's just not optimized to utilize more? That actually makes me believe, too, even with a better computer, that's not going to speed this up, right? Because if it's only using 20% of my current, you know, GPU, give or take, what would a better GPU do? I suppose maybe the RAM on the GPU makes a difference, but I'm trying to think. I have the 2070, which has uh, 8 gigs of RAM, on the, or GPU 8 gigs. Uh, video RAM. And I was looking at the 3080, which I think is only 8, maybe it's 12? 3080. Uh, love the 3090, I don't think I can afford that. <laughs> I am not a robot, I don't know why you're asking me to do that. How many, how much RAM is on this? Is it 12? 699, yeah, yeah, if only you could find it for 699. Um, hi. How much... Ray tracing? There's no ray tracing in this game. Dude, this game needs ray tracing, man. Uh, it has 10 gigs of RAM. So it's really not significantly that much better. Huh, interesting. So Kazan flipped. Okay, there we go. And Saratov also flipped. Vatican City's still full loyalty. Ooh, all right. St. Petersburg, though, is losing loyalty. But it's only negative one. Is Russia going to be able to hold on? <gasps> Where are they at? They are still ahead. Oh, snap here. But big bad negative here. There's no way Russia gets a Golden Age, right? I don't think there's any way that Russia gets a Golden Age. Dude, I gotta, like, research more into how to, like, optimize your computer and stuff for video games. Because, like, I don't know. I feel like there's stuff. Like, why, why are things not running better, right? You know? Why is the game laggy? Although I turned it off. Like, it's fine now without the reveal or with reveal all on. But, like, yeah. Like, should this not just be better if I'm only using a portion of my stuff? Do I need to overclock my stuff? But once again, if it's not using all of it, why would I need to overclock? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, if you guys know more about computers, let me know. <laughs> it's like, I can build my own computer. I'm. It's like, what is it? Five years since I built my computer. So it's like through these last five years, I've really grown so much in my knowledge of computers. And yet there's still so much more to learn, man. So much more to learn. But yeah. Oh yeah. And by the way, I'm going to completely LED kit my 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 new computer it's gonna be ridiculous <laughs> i'm gonna definitely be one of those ones where it's like oh hey here's my webcam and look at my flashy computer behind me oh yeah oh yeah totally i know some people hate it i love it i i love led lights yeah i really i'm all for it i am all for it i'm all down with the philip hue system now in our house i'm like yes give me all the freaking you know colored lights i love it it looks so cool if you don't like it well you know that's you that's fine Anyways, so, still waiting, still waiting. We only got 13 turns left, so, and St. Petersburg, well, I don't think St. Petersburg will flip. I actually assume Vatican's going to flip, would be my assumption. Best thing for Russia would be if Oldentes flips, because then I think he's probably able to hold on to both of these. Look at all those trade routes, my gosh. Problem is, he can't really send a trade route because it's just going to get pillaged, unless he kind of, like, holds the line here. He'd kind of have to keep his Cossacks right there. And then maybe only trade to himself. I suppose he could actually maybe send it, yeah, via the water. Never mind. Never mind. Eleanor of Aquitaine is now fascism. How dare you, Eleanor of Aquitaine? That is not a good government, okay? I mean, <laughs> okay, every bit of government can be corrupted by the wrong people. Okay, sure, whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. Democracy can be just as terrible if, you know, it's corrupt. 
or just as corrupt or whatever. Sure, sure, sure. All right, so four turns left in the modern era, 10 turns left overall. So yeah, it's really gonna come down to what city flips, I think. And the thing is, he's still gotta lose 240 points. And there's only gonna be like six turns left. So if he loses Vatican City, let's just think about this for a second. There's no wonders in Vatican City. I don't, he can't lose his capital, right? So he would just lose the um, the Empire size score, essentially. And then St. Petersburg still has, what, one, two wonders in it? I actually think Rush is going to pull this out. I think he's barely going to survive. And I think it's going to be 100% just because of St. Petersburg, which is so embarrassing if you're Spain. <laughs> like, what? Hey, his Petra is actually useful. Oh, okay, so it does. You know, I didn't think if there was Volcanic Ash that it still got the Petra bonus. I don't know why I thought that, but it still does get the Petra bonus. Right? I mean, maybe it blew up a couple times, but I'm pretty sure it's getting the Petra bonus. That sure looks like it. Um, Russia also needs a Golden Age. Or, sorry, sorry, uh, Japan needs a Golden Age. If Japan gets a Dark Age, then they're definitely going to lose. Uh, yeah, I mean... I think St. Petersburg is 100% accounting for, I mean, most of his points at this point. There's a couple districts up here. And I mean, obviously, Vatican has a few districts as well, but I, I just don't see Vatican providing 250 points. Yeah. And then Hojo just isn't really catching up either. If he could grab his towns back, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like he should be able to. And he still has crap units, man. He's still rolling around mostly with Samurai. Uh, even though both of these are at like 64. Where are the Samurai Corps? Yeah, they're only at 58. Although he can upgrade them. So they would be upgrade to Musket Men then. Still not really that significant. Okay. Here goes nothing. Uh, would someone else fall behind Japan? Uh, that's a good question. What about like Spain? Yeah, Spain's like a couple hundred points up too, so probably not. I mean, we're assuming Russia's gonna get a Dark Age. Just because they lost so many cities, it seems pretty hard for them to actually get Era score. But we shall see as soon as the turn flips, which it's trying to do right now. <laughs> it's trying to do. Oh my god. It's going. Actually, St. Petersburg and Vatican are both full loyalty now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, obviously, if Vatican flips, St. Petersburg is going to eventually flip, but I don't think in six turns. Yeah, there went Vatican. And it actually says St. Petersburg's full loyalty still. Uh, so Russia, Japan. Okay. Nope. It looks like Japan's gone. Wow. Yeah, and St. Petersburg is not flipping quick enough. Wow. Wow. They held on. That is crazy to me. That That is just like mind blowing to me that somehow he was able to hold on. Tokyo is going to flip back, but it's a little too little too late. So, all right, Teddy and Japan. So uh, the perennial favorite, Russia is still going to be in the game, which, you know, after we spent all this time talking about how bad we feel for them, he pulled it out. Okay, okay, okay. Touche, Russia, touche. But I mean, that's really, I think what you're going to have to do to win this. You're going to have to A, you know, play really well which is something Rush has been doing, but then you're also gonna have to just be able to, you know, survive. And that's something like Gandhi's been able to do. And I think it's gonna have to be a combination of both. Cause here's the thing, the final round is gonna be a combination of three rounds. Chances are you're not gonna get good starts three times in a row. We're probably gonna be trying to avoid this come final round, simply because like, this is a little unfair. Like, okay, yeah, it's a very beneficial start for him. Although once again, Japan, you know, losing with the beneficial start. But, you know, we're gonna still try avoiding that in the final round, just because it's gonna be added up over three. And like, I mean, look at Molly's points, just because they had all this room to themselves. That's where things get a little, you know, um, uh, imbalance. For this, I don't really care because we're looking at the bottom, not the top. So someone getting a really good start, not as important as someone getting a really, like this is also a little more impactful when you're doing the regular rounds, uh, just because it's like the top two move on. Once again, we're not going top two, we're going bottom two. And so at that point, it doesn't really matter if someone, two people have a really good start because, you know, okay, well, two people make it through. Well, guess what? Two people are going to make it through anyways. And it's going to be really hard to get a map that doesn't have two people with, you know, a, a good enough start where they're going to be fine. But we're still going to look to avoid that as much as we can here in the finals. 
So what's up? We got one more round of six, which then is going to include Mali, Simone, Cyrus, Eleanor, Gandhi, Hammurabi, Peter, F and Philip. And then we're going to get that uh, one more round of eight, rather. And we're going to get that down to six. So I think we got two big ballers right now with Hammurabi and Peter. We got uh, uh, two sieves that are really good with dramatic ages, I think, which is Gandhi and Eleanor. And then we got, uh, what, like three really surprising sieves with Philip, Molly, and Cyrus. And then we got Simone, who, you know, has been really well played. Like, I don't know. We've really seen too many games in which Simone has had a bad game. So... I think I think this is going to be a very very interesting last couple episodes, man. I have to say I think this is by far the most entertaining, and I said that about our last one uh, because we had some really craziness with that one with our last AI only championship series. But I definitely think this one's been far more entertaining, just because it's like, I mean, it's a good balance of really powerful sieves with like surprising sieves, and I mean that's ultimately what you want. Like, I mean, honestly, that's why the NFL playoffs are so good is because they're always like. Um, you know, really good uh, 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 teams like KC are in it, and then surprising teams like the Browns, who are probably going to end up losing tomorrow when they play, or actually today, I think, when this episode goes live. But whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Actually, no, it should probably be yesterday. Um, so, yeah, we'll wrap this episode up here then as soon as we get to 250, although we don't really need to, so... Um, Actually, you know what? Let's just call it here, right? Because there's no way Russia loses this. So, yeah, we're just going to call it here. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. I'll, I'll pay attention for the last two turns, but nothing's going to happen. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.